A few days before World Youth Day, which will be held in Portugal this year, the General Secretariat of Christian Youth in Palestine organized a mass in Beit Jala, Bethlehem, on July the 22nd, presided over by the Patriarch of Jerusalem of the Latins, His Beatitude Pier Battista Pizzaballa, and His Excellency Monsignor Americo Aguiar, Auxiliary Bishop of Lisbon and President of the World Youth Day Foundation, Lisbon. There are two reasons for my visit. The first is to fulfill a promise I made to the young people who came from the Holy Land to Lisbon to prepare for the pilgrimage. I told them that before World Youth Day I would find time to visit them, and here I am. The other reason has to do with what Pope Francis has always told me, don't forget those who cannot come to Lisbon. I made that effort. We made an effort to meet young people who have difficulties going to Lisbon, like from Ukraine and the Holy Land. These young people are an example. Because of their resilience, they are able to overcome all the obstacles we see. Dialogue and encounter, despite everything, are possible. World Youth Day is a global meeting. It is very important, and we are working to bring young people from all over the world who represent that universal fraternity, brothers all, to Lisbon. Certainly, young people from Palestine will be, in a special way, a beloved presence, very dear to the young people around the world. In his homily, his Beatitude Pizzaballa referred to the large participation of young people from the Holy Land this year in World Youth Day. 90 from Jordan, 50 from Galilee, 200 from Palestine and 20 for the first time from Cyprus. The Patriarch invited them to invest their time in doing good despite the many injustices they witness in their lives. <laughs> The Auxiliary Bishop of Lisbon also visited some of the craft workshops that made thousands of rosary beads to be distributed to World Youth Day participants. This project, carried out by Caritas Jerusalem, provided employment for many families in the city of Bethlehem. Jornada Mundial da Juventude do Panamá World Youth Day Panama already had a collaboration protocol with Caritas Jerusalem for the production of the rosaries. So we started talking to them about producing new ones for World Youth Day Lisbon. In the meantime, we started looking for financial aid. We asked aid to the church in need, and now it supports the project. A project that allows many families to have an income, thanks precisely to the production of the rosaries that will be distributed at this year's World Youth Day. World Youth Day offers every young person an experience of encounter with Christ, a personal dialogue with Him. These are young people who, as Pope Francis reminds us, make a strong contribution to the mission of the whole Church, especially to future generations. We